Hello there and welcome. How's it going? This is Mark Castillo, aka the Digital Marketing Warrior. Welcome to the Digital Marketing Warrior video channel, the place to come to be inspired in creating your wealth. If this is your first time here and you're watching this from the Facebook Live, don't forget to follow me on Facebook by hitting that follow button on my profile so you don't miss out on all of my content I'll be rolling out. And if you happen to be watching this from YouTube or Rumble, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so that you don't miss out when I roll out some new content. In today's video, I'd like to touch on the basics of how to write emails, specifically in Aweber. Now, before I get right into sharing my screen and showing you how to do that, I wanna to touch on first the problems and the mistakes that I see people make when they start with email marketing. One of the big mistakes that I see people make is when they write emails, they write the emails that are too pitchy and too spammy. Now, here's the problem with that. When you're driving traffic and you're getting those leads onto your list, keep in mind, these people that are subscribing onto your list are cold. They don't know you. There's no relationship established. And if you go ahead and you sell them right on the spot, in the first email, you're not only gonna piss them off, but you're gonna make them unsubscribe. Now keep in mind, people will unsubscribe from your list no matter what, but you don't wanna make the mistake of sending emails that are focused on direct selling. You don't wanna focus on that. You wanna take the time to focus on building that know, like, and trust relationship with your list. Now the next thing I notice with people that they make mistakes on is they rely too much on the swipe files. There's nothing wrong with relying on email swipe files at first, especially when you're just getting started, but don't become too dependent on them. You can use them at first just to get the ball rolling and to get an idea of how you should be writing your emails. But sooner or later, you wanna learn the skill of mastering the art of writing winning emails that gets results. Which leads me into the next point in a lot of people don't take the time to learn the skill of what it takes to write winning emails that gets results. I won't touch on it too much in detail on this video, but I will say briefly, in this marketing space, in this industry, I see a lot of people that focus on just the money, but they're not focused on investing the time in learning the skill sets. And the skills are important, especially when it comes to email marketing. So you may be wondering right, right now, well, how do I write emails? How do I write emails the easy way and also that will get me started in generating the results that I'm looking for? I'm glad you asked me that question. And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and I'm gonna show you how to craft your emails in Aweber. So let me go ahead and start sharing my screen here. So just give me a moment to do that. Okay. Let's bring it over here. And here we are. So if you're not familiar with Aweber, Aweber is an autoresponder. If you don't have an autoresponder for whatever business that you're marketing right now, I highly recommend that you get Aweber. Very simple, very easy to use, very newbie friendly. And you'll wanna go ahead and get an autoresponder, get Aweber as soon as possible. So let's go back to the tutorial. So here we are on the Aweber dashboard. Now, how do, you, how do you find how to write your emails? Well, do you see this button on the top right corner? Let me zoom in on that. On the top right-hand corner, it, there's a button that says create message. You wanna click that drop down arrow and select the drag and drop editor. Ignore all of these other ones. You don't need them. You just need the drag and drop editor. Click on that. 
And here we are in how to write emails with the drag and drop build editor. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna get rid of this. We don't need that. Don't need that. And we're gonna delete everything here where you just only see the text message. Now let's say you wanna write an email with an image on it. You wanna include an image in that email. Here's what you do. You hover over the image icon on the left-hand column. You're gonna drag it over here and put it at the very bottom of the email, or you can even put it in between here. But for the example's sake, we're gonna put it on the bottom. Now, to upload an image, what you do is click on this button to upload an image of your liking, and then you can adjust the dimensions of the image to your liking. You can also put an image in between the text too. So what you do is you do the same thing, but you put it to uh, where you want in the body of your email. So you put it here, and then you just do the same thing. Upload an image, make sure, you, make sure the image icon is clicked on in the body of the text. So click up, upload an image, and then what you wanna do is adjust the image to your desired dimensions, and you're good to go. Now, the question that may be on your mind at this point is, well, how do I write my emails? Well, one of the first things that you wanna keep in mind is you don't wanna focus on creating the subject line. Do that after you write the body of your email. You follow that advice, it's gonna save you a lot of time. Now, what I'm gonna go ahead and do here is I'm gonna go ahead and go to my drafts and I'm gonna give you an example of an email that I sent out. So let's go ahead and do this email. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this email and then I'm going to click on it. And here is the email that I sent out to my list not too long ago. So if you take the time to write, to not write, but read this email, you will see that I don't focus on just solely direct selling to my list. What I do is I do attraction marketing. I let my list get to know me. You wanna write an email like you're writing to your best friend. And what I'm doing here is I'm sharing my story. I'm sharing a bit about my story here. So in this email, I talk about my personal story. And then what I do is I take my personal story and I transition it into them getting started with me with the opportunity that I'm selling. So what you wanna do every time that you're writing emails is you can do story-based emails or you can do the types of emails for your niche. Let's say, for example, we're doing affiliate marketing. You can write an email that ties into affiliate marketing where you give them advice about anything in the industry. It could be from a course that you're taking. It could be something that you learned from a coach and mentor. The possibilities are endless. Now, what you wanna do is whatever content that you're writing, you always wanna make sure that you tie it into your niche. The message has to match the market. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So another point that I wanna to touch on with emails is you wanna make sure that every time that you write emails, you wanna make sure that it's in Arial font and you wanna make sure that you do 16 point size font. That way, when it shows up in somebody's email inbox, they can actually read the email. Now, this gets into my next thing that I'm gonna show you. Before you send out an email, let's say, hmm, I wanna actually find out how this email looks on the desktop and the mobile phone. Well, here's a feature that you can do. Go to preview and test. 
and you can see a preview of how your email looks like. And then you see this option right here where it says mobile preview. Click on this right here. And this is how your email is going to look on the mobile. So everything looks good. Now, something I forgot to touch on here is you notice how I have this blue text hyperlinked. Well, what you wanna do in order to put your link in whatever text of this email that you would like, what you wanna do is you wanna highlight it first and see this icon where it's kind of like a paper clip? That's to add the link. So click on that icon. And then since I already have a link over here, you click on edit link. But when you actually click on that paper icon, it's going to take you to this box right here. I already have my link over here. And what you want to do is you want to grab whatever link that you want. And then you want to copy and paste it onto this link box right over here and make sure that after you do that click save otherwise if you don't it's not going to save it so make sure that after you copy and paste your link in the link box click save and then when you click preview and test so this is the mobile version of the email and let's say you want to check out the the page that you uh, hyperlinked Okay, so our page is good to go. And we're gonna go back to editor. Then what you wanna do from here is you wanna go and click on at the very bottom right-hand corner, save and exit. Click on that. And then from here, what you wanna do is click on schedule. Now pay close attention to this. So, do you want to share this message? Leave all this alone. And the next part, who should re receive this message? Ah, you want to make sure over here that you're on the right list. And then what you want to do is you want to send to a specific segment of your list. And you'll want to select that. So for example, sake, we're going to send it to openers. Click apply. And then on the next part, when should this message be sent? Click on edit. And let's say I want to send this email for Saturday. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to send this email at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, because from the results that I've been doing from emailing my list, this seems to be the good time to email your list at this moment in time. So click apply. And down below where it says, do you want tag automations? What you wanna do is if you want your subscribers to be moved to a specific segment of your list, then this is what you'll do. So where it says click automations, you'll want to add the tags to that other segment of your list. So my other segment in this case is going to be the clickers. And then for removing the tags, very important, you don't want your list subscribed to two segments of your list. That will be very annoying for them. For removing the tags, you want to unsubscribe them from the current segment of their list. So in this case, it would be openers. So I would type in openers. I would click apply and leave everything else the way it is and click schedule message for Saturday. And there you go. I have this message scheduled for Saturday, September 23rd. I'm gonna go ahead and unschedule that because I already sent out that email, but that was for demonstration purposes. So let me go ahead and stop sharing my screen over here. And there you have it. There you have how to write your emails 
very simple, easy tutorial. Just don't overcomplicate the process. You'll want to make sure that when you're writing your emails, make sure that it's value-based content. You can even write about story-based emails. You can also write about advice that you learned from courses, from other coaches and mentors. You can make that into an email. But you never want to just direct sell to your list, especially when they're cold leads on your list. So if you're curious about what, what you can do to get started right now with email marketing, or if you're struggling to promote an existing business that you've been promoting but haven't been getting results with, here's what I would like you to do. If you're watching from the Facebook Live, either to the right of this video or down below in the comments, you want to comment more info, and I'll be happy to message you marketing resources that you can get started with. If you happen to be watching this from YouTube or Rumble, down below this video, in the video description, there will be some marketing resource links. Pick the one that best suits your needs. Go ahead and opt in with your best email and get started today. With that said, this is Mark Castillo, aka The Digital Marketing Warrior. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. Have an amazing day, wherever you may be, whatever time zone that you're watching this from. I'll see you on the next video very soon. Take care.